Hello and welcome back to the channel and if you're new here welcome just in general we are back at slay the princess We've played the demo before I'm not sure if we're gonna be doing chapter one again But if we are I'll skip past it and I'll get right to the rest if you have not seen chapter one and partial chapter two Then I'm gonna link it right up there. It's a little playlist You can click on it you can catch up and then you can meet us back here however if it is different in the full version, because I'm going to play through it, and if it's different, I will include it here. How you doing, princess? You doing all right? Oh, the timing on that was immaculate. The timing on that was so good. I did not know that was going to happen. All right, then. Well, she's she's fine. I think she's good. She's doing great. She's fine. Can you get your, your honking noggin out of my face now? Yes, chapter one, the hero and the princess. We've been here. Okay, so... Shut up. There's nothing new in chapter one. We're on to chapter two. I think about a speed run. Okay, so chapter two, I'm, I shut him up real fast. We're gonna get back into the cabin. Once we make it into the cabin, I'll start going again because once we made it in there, we made it down the stairs. She said hi, got a whole boss cut scene and went and then it ended. So once we get there, I'm gonna catch back up with you. Okay, so uh, the last time we played this, I'm gonna follow in suit because I do think it, it's the, the wrong, right, right, wrong decision to not bring the blade down to the basement. She didn't like that last time, so we're just gonna go down there with some kind words, and I'm sure it can only end well. I'm afraid I'm gonna insist we take the blade. We're in a dangerous situation, and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Are you sure? She killed us with it last time. What? What if she turns it against us again? Yes, I'm sure. And I've already got a plan for that. Still with those past life delusions, are we? I hope part of that plan is don't give the world any monstrosity your only weapon. Because unless you've decided to arm the princess, I don't think you need to worry about her having a weapon. We've, re we've reached change. We've reached change. I didn't change anything. I answered the same stuff. I answered all the same, so I don't know why we're changing. Peachy, we'll be fine. You know, I trust you, okay. skeptic. I'm trusting you. We, we both are. Um, <laughs> I don't get a say in this. What's the big idea? Oh, yeah, but not about this. Call it a reflex. We take the knife as we go. Wonderful. You do exactly that, sweeping the knife from the table before proceeding to the basement. I'm the player! I'm the player! I'm supposed to be playing the game. You can't take away my authority. Don't worry about it. We have a knife. So what? It's not like we have to use it. I just feel like we're coming on a little strong. I mean, if someone came at you with a knife, you'd be a little skeptical. So you're skeptic. No, you don't have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. <sighs> Moving on. I disagree. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Does she remember us? You walk down the stairs and lock <laughs> eyes with the him. princess. She looks up at you. The heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. I still love- she's adorable. I mean, look at her. Alright, well, so we still got the unhindered chain over here, which we have to get answered. The mirror, it's gotta come back at some point. And the stars, they're still beautiful. So much for cutting her out of here. Do you hear yourself right now? Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. Thank you, Skeptic. That was there last time too, wasn't it? Indeed it was, Hero. Good job. It was. I feel like Hero's like the Labrador of the group. He, he's very easily swooned with praise, and he's still adorable. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just gonna leave her here. Leave the princess in the basement. Ho oh, oh, ho, we have other options. Sit with her and slay the princess. Well, I wanna get nice and feisty, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit with her. You step towards the princess, 
but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. Oh? There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. That's fair. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Sit close. <laughs> Again, I don't want to piss her off. I do want to get more answers in this one. I, I don't know if this is going to continue throughout more chapters or if it's going to end on chapter two. I think we're on chapter two and then we reset to chapter one. So for now, we're just going to play it safe. You do as she asks and sit on the floor, still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Hmm. My intentions, what do you mean? Uh, I'm here to... Been here before and I'm the only one who remembers. <laughs> no, I kind of want to see if she remembers. Because they do, and, and she said it's been a while, so... I don't know. What happened after I died last time? That other chain on the wall, who's a who? We could ask about the chain. Uh, what would you have me do? Um, I'll leave you here. Bye! <laughs> no, we're not gonna do... Uh, I want to see if she remembers. Oh? Are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. Oh, we remember! I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. Oh, has it? It's complicated things. How, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just. Good luck. Now hold on, if you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. I hoped if I pushed back hard enough I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That's pathetic. I never said I wasn't. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? Can she also hear my voices? I mean, if she if she knows about, you know, the previous world, can she also hear my voices? Or am I just staring blankly into her eyes as I talk to myself? I mean, she seems cool with it. So I, I just uh, give me a moment, Brenda, one more moment. Boop, I'm just going to go back to my inner thoughts and I will be with you momentarily. The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. Fine. But you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. Focus. This oh. is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. I'm not daydreaming. I'm coming up with a plan, I promise. Okay, 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 okay. I'm focused. I'm here. Uh, what happened last time I died? Uh, you were asking about my intentions earlier. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I really think it's between what happened at, uh, b -b -b -d -p 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 -huh. what happened after the last time we died and that other chain on the wall. Maybe that counts. I'm just a little theorizing real quick. Maybe that counts for one time we failed and then if we fail again there'll be two, but at the same time there was already one there to begin with. So wouldn't there be two? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ask at the chain. I don't know, but you could always try it on. Oh, it's not just a broken chain. I thought it was just a broken chain. She's right, we could try it on. Maybe it'll fit. I 
hope I don't actually have to say this, but please <laughs> don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I might want to try to lock myself up. Uh, inspect the shackle. You were asking about my intentions earlier. What happened left the last time I died? Oh, but I don't want to lose the opportunity to lock myself up. That would just be disappointing. I wouldn't do that if I were you. But I want no. And why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? At least I have a friend. And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. I am. I don't see why we need to put our wrist in it, first of all, to inspect it. We could just grab it from the outside. But, you know, I'm, I'm a curious individual. I'm a curious individual. Let's go. <sighs> Against your better judgment, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. What are you, what are you, what are you supposed to say? Okay, okay, before we get to that, just before we get on to that, before we get on to that, I'm sure you're not going to hurt me. You wouldn't do that. You're nicer than that. Uh, again, uh, I, we are either wearing gloves and they're ripped or we're really a monster. And I want to know what happens with that. But I don't feel like we're going to get an opportunity. I think I made a mistake. We made a mistake. You're part of this. I'm including you because I don't want to be alone in my stupidity. Here we go. <laughs> I know what I do. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? Yes. It's bad. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. And, as if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Um, excuse me? That's what I was <laughs> Magnet, magnetical, magical, magnetable shackle. She seems so disappointed. She seems so disappointed at us. So is this what happened to her? Also, where'd my background music go? Where'd you take my music? Yes. Are we stuck here now? <laughs> yes. I don't think this is a bad ending. I got an achievement, by the way, go me. But I don't think this is a bad ending. I mean, we're stuck here with the princess. So we've got a buddy, and we'll figure it out together. Huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch. <laughs> That's probably it. No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. So we're both stuck here? Wait, did you know this was gonna happen to me? No. Oh. So we're stuck here? Yep. This is a good conversation. I'm glad I'm stuck with a conversationalist as yourself. Not one for small talk, are you? Nope. Hmm. That's rude. <laughs> uh, what should we do? Oh. Oh. You and the princess wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. This is so boring. There must be something we can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. But there isn't. Time passes. It passes and passes and passes. And the basement of the cabin remains much the same. It is cold. And silent. At least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. But she's not ending anything, she's just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat, it harms everything around it. How exactly does that work? 
It just does. God, if you would just give us more information, this would be so much easier. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of even more time. And after that, even more time passes again. Oh, great. But let me guess. The cabin remains the same. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. That's just how things work. He's right. There would be dust. There would be something. Like, something would have to happen. Even if it's on a tiny scale. So if we go through other endings and unlock other possibilities and learn things, can we then go back to this ending and change something here? Maybe there's something I can say to her in the future. Boop, boop. That'll actually make her talk. I suppose you're correct. Things are changing. The differences are small at first. A bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there. But then they get larger. And larger. She's not changing. Hey, have you noticed the basement is changing? I don't like small talk, remember? Still rude. Hmm. You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework, can watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. I get what he means by the world isn't safe now, because eventually that's gonna reach us, and she will be freed from the wall, because it'll break. But she's not aging. Are we aging? Are we changing? I mean, they said we would starve, but it doesn't seem like we're starving, but a lot of time is passing. That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. Thank you, Ske see, Skeptic and I really get each other. Skeptic and I have gotten along from the very first day he became an ambient voice in my brain. She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. Even more silent time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass. Are we about to get the buried alive ending? Until suddenly, there are no walls. And then... And... I think he's gone. Narrator? Would you look at that. We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. So this is the outside world. It's cold. But you don't get the chance to respond. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her stead. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror up there. Why is it here? Why now? Where's Skeptic? Where's my Skeptic? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go looking for her. The narrator's go- oh, that's fine. I don't like him anyway. Where's Skeptic? No, we're Tundo supposed to look in that mirror. We're looking Something in the mirror. Dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. God, hero, stop right. being a bitch. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Hmm. We're approaching. Huh? No, no, we can't look first. She's gone. The narrator's thankfully gone out of our mind. We are approaching that mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. Yeah, fuck you. The mirror never. S the mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels. I don't know. Final. Oh. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. 
I say to the cat? What was I? Was I a root? You are at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. She's still shackled. Why are you still shackled, buddy? What are you? The gift of a fragile vessel. She's talking about you, buddy. I think she wants to take your body. Is this the end of the world? Let her out of here. Who the narrator is. Holy balls, there's so much. Oh, she's obviously the princess. Let her out of there! I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Return to you? So she wasn't bad. She herself as a person maybe isn't bad. Maybe it's whatever entity is going to possess, possess her when she leaves that cabin. I don't think she's as bad as everyone's saying she is. I promise that it doesn't hurt. I don't care if it doesn't hurt. Give her her body back. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I'm Tom. I'm a gamer. I think I'm a little in over my head here. I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. Oh. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? That's fair. That's a good point. She makes a good point. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Well, I can walk you around a bit. Look at you all. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Oh. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Hmm. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. I don't know, she seemed pretty sad and you kind of kidnapped her with your spaghetti noodle arms. It wasn't very nice. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Yes! Yes, it does matter, because if she's not bad in the first place, then we're doing the right thing. We're trying to save her. That makes you the bad guy. You might not think you're the bad guy, but from where I'm standing in my current position, you don't seem too good. Huh. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. That was a crappy answer. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. That checks. I mean, if she has the brain of the princess, prin princess, Jesus, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. If she has the brain of the princess, then sadness would mean we kill her. Longing would be, you know, for hope, longing and hope are similar. It did say this is a love story, so maybe, maybe we're in love somehow, and that's why I was sent to kill her, or maybe there's a way we can love her. Can I love you? I will love you. The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. 
Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. So when everybody else was trying to throw her out and kill her, she had to protect herself. And then they sent me to go kill her, and I tried to protect her. Well, what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Okay, we got a lot more to work with here and we're gonna work with it. But here's the thing. So, just taking a step back again. On one point she did say if I... Merge? If I merge with her, then I will forget. And we don't want to forget. We need that information. It, that's the narrator forgotten. That just wouldn't be a good... Well, he didn't technically forget. I don't want to forget, though. I need this information. I do feel bad kind of leaving her alone. I thought it would be a good thing to merge with her and then we could be together. But I don't... I don't know. Uh, how much will I forget? How many more pieces do you have to find? I said to slay the princess to stop her from the world. If I help you, is that going to... Okay, make me forget. <laughs> Don't make me forget. How much? <sighs> How much will I forget? How much? Everything. Until we meet again. I don't want that. I don't think I want that. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found. But less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Yeah. I don't think- I don't think that was a great answer. Uh, uh... And if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. I was sent to slay the princess, to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? I don't want to do that! You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. I'm not going! If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not forgetting. I refuse- We, you, me, us, we refuse to forget. We refuse, I refuse, and therefore we are gonna wait forever. You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. I... I... you... What happens if I play it again? What happens if we open the- I'd like to open it again, please. It crashed. It crashed on me. You have returned me. to me. Though you were gone mere moments. I okay. never left your side. I don't know if you caught that first part because um, it took a minute for OBS to register what was happening. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and our lovely lady still waiting. Lovely lady still waiting. 
God damn it. Does this mean my character's gonna forget his progress? I don't think we have a choice. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Oh. Oh, I will do my absolute best to remember you, princess. You won't. Everything goes dark. And you die. God damn it! <gasps> ah! No, don't path shut in the woods. up. And at shut the end up. Of that path no. Is a cabin. Shut and up. In the basement of I'm escaping. Empty slot. There. Schmack it there. I'm gonna schmack it there too. I'm schmacking it in two places. Okay, we've gotta this is a long quick we're gonna end it here. Okay, this is episode one of the main game, but this is episode three of the all together process. We have reached information. I don't know how great that information was, but we do have new information, and we are gonna use that new information to get new pads and endings. But that's next time. This time we're gonna go ahead and just call it because my brain hurts so bad <laughs> from all of that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and don't forget to max, max, spook, spax, boop, schwap. God, what is with my speech today? I can't speak words. But just smack that subscribe button and make sure to hit the like button as well and hit the comment button as well and type some letters down there that make more sense than the ones that are currently coming out of my mouth. And I will see you booskies later.